What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we are doing our first Pokemon Go video. And uh, so I just want to kind of introduce my account to you all and basically set the scene for this weekend, the community day for Ralts. I'm really excited, and I'll try to put together some content uh, for that. And she already did that for the day, so. Um, yeah, my character is, of course, I want a turtle. And right now I'm kind of walking to Bronzor just to evolve that. And I'm only 12 Ks along. I uh, haven't been playing this game as hard as I have been in the past. Uh, I am level 40 though. And at 28 million XP. Started on 7.6. And let's see, what, what kind of stuff do people want to see? Um, I don't think achievements are really that relevant. Uh, I have not been very good about these Team Rocket things. I felt like it's actually pretty hard and for I while I haven't been spending the time to just sit down and take them out uh, I've only done one and I picked up a squirrel and a couple of questions for you all is what kind of content do you want to see and What is the benefit of having these? Pokemon like I see no reason to purify it. I'm not going to evolve it or anything like that. I have noticed that people are putting them into gyms, like the uh, evil Snorlax is pretty cool. Uh, that's probably the one that I want. Uh, actually, oh, one, one kind of cool thing is uh, my goal is to get to 10 million Stardust and then just sit on it. And all right, at that point, now I, I feel like I can start spending Stardust to power up some stuff, uh, but I don't want to go dip below that 10 million mark. So those, that's my current goals. Um, some stuff that I still have to evolve, the Shellos, the Bronzor which we saw, uh, this Burmy evolve, yes, the Burmy. Uh, I only have a couple Luckies, a random Hitmonlee, and actually a Armored Mewtwo. I have not actually done many Mewtwo raids, so I had to trade for it. And let's see, what else do, let's take a look at our shiny count. See how we're doing in that. I feel like that's kind of like what the game is about right now is, you know, getting to level 40 is not this, one, it's not even necessary, and two, it doesn't really mean much that, that right now, so I feel like a lot of people are just going for those shinies. So let's take a look at mine. Uh, one day, actually, so the way I play for the most part is I just use the gotcha, um, kind of like to and from work, and if I go on like walks or anything like that, I'll just have that running. And actually, I believe these I caught in, Where's like the word that you caught it? Uh, July 5th and July 5th. So yeah, so this was like on the same trip. Uh, so I was super fortunate. This this uh, Diglett looks hilarious. It reminds me of like, the colors remind me of like a, a clown or something like that. Maybe it's the blue nose that really stands out to me. But we do have a Snubble and Diglett. I do like the Snubble shiny. Uh, that's a pretty cool color in my opinion. Uh, we do have a Latios. This actually got from the quest uh, after completing seven quests. And uh, at one point they had the Cubones and the Arnoth. Uh, I I like this Cubone, but it's not great. Like I like how it's different, but green is kind of weird. And this Aeronoth, to be honest, I if if you should, like if I caught this in a corner of my eye, I wouldn't even realize it's shiny. Let's see how else we're doing. We got uh, Blaziken. I think that's from a Community Day. Same thing for Salamance. Banky. Kind of a weird color, but I like it. Rattata, yes. Uh, so I typically don't evolve anything unless I have multiple of them. So I don't have, we're not able to evolve, evolve that. I, we do have a couple Meltans, but that's not that difficult to get. Zigzagoon. I do like, oh, how come I can't like rotate? There we go. I do like the Zigzagoon. Uh, we did get a Kyogre, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I never realized that the lights kind of, uh, let's do it again. They kind of flash. Uh, let's see, Larvitar's Community Day, Mag the Art. So actually, oh, I must have traded one of my Togepiis because I did have a couple of them and I was going to evolve one of them, but it seems like one of them was gone. Actually, let's go, go by number. It's probably the best, better way to do it. Um, all right, let's see, Shelter. We do have two Shelters, so actually we could probably evolve one of those. Let's see, Pink Drowsy. I like the Pink Drowsy. Pinsir is pretty cool. All right, we we could probably evolve one of these Magikarps. Although I love Magikarp, it's kind of like the OG one. And actually, the Red Gyarados is awesome, but I feel like everyone evolves their Magikarp, so like just to have like the Red Gyarados. And I feel like 
The golden magic card's gotta be the minority, so I like that one. Eevee, I kept one Eevee. Um, not sure if I want to, so I will probably evolve this, but I need a lot more. I didn't go very hard on that community day. I obviously only have two. Let's see, for legendary birds, we're missing the Moltres. So we got the Articuno and the Zapdos. At a quick glance, you wouldn't even realize they're shiny, so I don't feel that bad about it. <laughs> um, kind of like the one of the original shiny um, community days, the Dratini. That was a lot of fun. Yes, we got two Togepi's. Okay, so we do have Espeon as well. Uh, let's see, Fortress. I was pretty happy to get the Fortress. I didn't realize that there was a shiny version of it. Let's see, Snowbolt, Magby. I might, I think I might probably want to evolve this to Magmortar, but you know, the thing about these shinies is you can evolve it, but you can't go, you can't unevolve it. Yeah, or maybe they'll do it at some point, but actually there's no reason to do it. So I like keeping the base form and Magby is like, it's also a baby Pokemon. And you know, I feel like until I get multiple, I kind of keep it like that. And for example, like for the community days where I do have a good number of them, I keep all the different evolutions. Mighty Enna. That one is one I evolved because I thought this thing did look really cool. Oh no, it's because I brought it just under 15 for that uh, CP range uh, for the parties because for the Great League, you know, I say, oh, I can show off my shiny Pokemon because otherwise I feel there's not many opportunities to do so. Alright, Wingle. I do like the Wingle, pretty cool. Hariyama brought that up just under 15 as well, and that's a pretty cool shiny. We do have two Aerons, uh, which one we turned into Aggron. It's kind of interesting, like, I feel like, oh, this thing's just a little red in the eyes. Uh, while it maintains that, I feel like the bigger thing that stands out is, like, the body, where it's, like, blue. Uh, we do have a Minum. I think at one point I had two Minums. I think I traded it for some kind of regional Pokemon. Three Roselia, which is pretty good. I should probably evolve one of them. One of those. I feel like Xenostones are kind of like a limited item right now so I don't use them. <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder in that respect. And that's it for our shiny count. Let's see, is there anything else to show off? Um, as far as I like our strongest Pokemon, I have a policy of I love all things to level 30 and then I leave it there. Uh, the reason being that the Stardust kind of like, it's like almost, ex not exponential, but the cost of it just goes up really fast. And what you gain for CP is really minimal. Or decreases after level 30 so I try to just go things to level 30 so that I can be relevant in raids like I'm not exactly breaking any breakpoints or whatever uh, but I'm able to contribute at the appropriate level uh, assuming that we're not trying to like do it with minimum number of trainers but but once I do hit that um, 10 million stardust I'll probably be more lenient about spending some stardust uh, beyond like necessary trades that I need and uh, yeah, so that's probably it for the intro video to our Pokemon Go content. Um, stay tuned this sometime, after, maybe uh, late Saturday or Sunday, we'll have a video about our experience on the Community Day event. Really excited. I do want to get a bunch of Ralts. Uh, huge fan of Gardevoir. Um, Gallade's pretty cool too. So we'll have a bunch of those for that. And. Yeah, I haven't been playing this game too hard, really been focused on Pokemon Masters lately, but uh, yeah, look forward to more content, and if there's specific things that you would suggest or want to see, let me know in a comment down below. And that's it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.